This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Uh, Meltzer would write about the business. He said, largely due to disappointing domestic pay-per-view numbers, World Wrestling Entertainment has what Chairman Vince McMahon called a lousy second quarter, although the company remained profitable. For the second quarter, they took in $106 million and ended with a $6.2 million profit. The prior year, they took in $138 million and posted a $19.8 million profit. Were you keeping up with any of the earnings and did you think that was a barometer for maybe what might about to be happening in the business or was it completely off your radar in this era? No, I had my hands full doing my job. You know, if they brought it up, you know, at a production meeting or something, you know, then I would look at that and it sounded like a big number, sound like a good profit. Uh, but it didn't, to me, that's, so far out of the realm of what my job description was. I mean, I would hear it and it'd go in one ear and out the other. I knew the company was doing good. I would see expansions in every area and, you know, you could tell that they were spending a lot of money to make money. So business is usually good when that's happening. Absolutely. Let's, uh, let's also mention that this, the investor call when he's acknowledging, Hey, we had a bad quarter. He says, quote, we're looking at SummerSlam reversing the downward spiral. We look at SummerSlam as the kickoff of the new talent integrating with others. So he's putting a lot of stress and pressure here on this particular show. And again, an $875,000 gate with 17,000 people in the building. Hard to complain about that. And even though maybe fewer people are buying the pay-per-view, 350,000 buys would still be considered very, very strong. Let's, uh, let's remind everybody we're fresh off of the money in the bank pay-per-view, which we recently did a show on, but let's talk about some sort of news and notes in the middle of August, Linda McMahon captures the Republican nomination for becoming a Senator in Connecticut. McMahon won handily, largely based on spending more than $20 million of her own money among the most of any candidate in United States history. Did you follow any of this? And, and were you surprised that this was a path she wanted to pursue. Well, I, I just know this about Linda McMahon. Every time I've ever been around her, she was always so polite and so nice to me. I mean, every single time. And, uh, that meant a lot to me, someone of, you know, of her stature. And she just made a point to be polite. And she were for somehow remembered, you know, my son's name and stuff like that. And, uh, that goes a long way uh, when you're a woman of her stature. And we were all pulling for her. I'm, you know, I don't bring my politics, you know, to work with me ever. I think that's kind of a, a personal thing. Your politics is your own personal building, but our business, excuse me. Um, but we're all pulling for her. Of course we were. We knew that, uh, you know, how that would help our company and how it made us look and would legitimize us even more, which we're trying to do constantly. And, and, uh, we're all pulling for Linda to win. That's for sure. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.